I'm Beth Ewan with Franchise Times talking today with Randy Eichard. He heads up development for Bojangles. And Randy, you have had some remarkable growth very recently with some new development agreements, uh, especially in the Florida area. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, we have, uh, Beth. We've had a very exciting year for our development, especially across northern Florida. Uh, we've uh, signed some new groups, both uh, some uh, folks that have uh, come to us from the outside and also some of our existing franchisees that have added on additional territories across northern Florida. We've got a new group in Jacksonville that we're very excited about, uh, another group that was one of our existing franchisees in the Myrtle Beach area and uh, went down to Florida and started developing in uh, areas like Lake City and Alachua and Gainesville and now they've moved over to sign up for some more territory over in the Daytona Beach area over into Central Florida and then our, our other group in the Tallahassee market has uh, uh, extended their development agreement to take on the development over in the uh, Panama City area so uh, we've got a lot of traction and a lot of movement right now in the state of Florida. What do you think are a few of the elements that's driving that interest, both with a brand new group for you and then existing groups adding on? Well, we're, uh, we're very fortunate with our existing pool of uh, franchisees. Uh, they account for a, the vast majority of our growth as a brand. And so as they develop out certain territories where they are and they kind of run out of space, then they are, uh, they're always willing to kind of go take a look at another new market. And so that's what's happened in several of these instances where people have uh, developed out their territory and they've moved to another market. Uh, with the, uh, the case of the new group, we're always uh, looking for uh, those new franchisees that uh, fit with our culture and really are uh, excited about our brand and uh, what we bring to the table. And so uh, we've had a good mix of both new and existing franchisees to help us with uh, our development plans. I was interested that one of your key offerings is all day breakfast. Is that right in the, in the homemade? Uh, biscuits, yes, right? Absolutely. Uh, so t tell about what that does for a brand like yours to have those all those day parts or breakfast in all those day parts. Well, there, it is a huge uh, benefit to us as a brand. We do uh, really about 38 percent of our business by 11 o'clock in the morning oh, do you? as a brand. And Bojangles is really in our DNA. We've had breakfast all day, every day since 1977. Really? And uh, it's not something new for us, and we've made uh, biscuits from scratch every 20 minutes from day one. And so uh, having that biscuit as the centerpiece of our breakfast really kind of anchors what our food is all about. And it really carries over to our uh, fresh, never frozen bone-in chicken that we have that we marinate right in the restaurant. We uh, still steep tea the old-fashioned way. We don't brew it. There are no microwaves in a Bojangles. <laughs> uh, we still cook rice with our dirty rice from hard rice from scratch. So it's really different for us. We do a lot of really scratch cooking in a Bojangles kitchen. So that speaks to the quality of our food and it uh, shows up with uh, the, the level of love that our customers show us. Well, and I can hear a little bit from your accent that that's all part of that Southern hospitality, right? It is. <laughs> it's yeah, great. Uh, it's Southern-inspired food, mm -hmm. and uh, we're, we're very proud of uh, the way that we serve it and uh, cook it up fresh every day for the folks coming to see us. Very nice. I've been talking with Randy Eichard. He is with Bojangles, talking about some of their new development deals. And I'm Beth Ewan, Editor-in-Chief of Franchise Times.